Give me fuel, give me fire, give me double shot and die! Hello everyone and welcome to race number 16 of the season here of the SRA Spectrum Cup Series. We are here at a fan favorite, Open Roads, the survival of the fittest road course that takes you through highways, turns, and of course, a lake. Let's just get on down to your starting lineup on the poles. Zachary Fitzwater next to him, Seth Cole, third, Al Rain, fourth, Chris Dollarton, fifth, Alexander Rose, sixth, uh, Zach Winkle, seventh, is Jackie Tang, 8th, RJ Bishop, ninth is John Zorro, completing the top 10, is, uh, wow, I'm sorry there, folks, I don't know what the hell I'm saying anymore, Stephen Cologne, wow, I'm having this memory fail, that's not good, I'm more like crazy, rest of starting line from 11th and 12th on back, forgive me, I'm working so many hours that I'm not even thinking anymore. On the final row, we have Cole Deaver and Dylan Young. Steve, if you're watching this, I am terribly sorry. Don't don't make it sound personal. Anyways, here come the top 10 points coming into this race. Chris Dollarton with the points lead over Jackie Tang. Cole Deaver lost the points lead after that uh, wreck at Talladega. He's fallen the third. RJ Bishop, Allison Rain complete the top five. Eric Monaco or Bruno Crown Jr., who had that poor run over at Talladega, did not need it there for the second race in a row with an issue. But he's still hanging on to the top 10 ever so much, though. Vince Freeze, Laura Chung, Mitchell Collins complete the top 10. Uh, your winner from last race, Jonathan Zorlin, uh, jumped up quite a number of spots. I'm trying to find where he's at uh, in the standings. Ah, there he is. He's actually 33rd. So, uh, Biggest gainers out of all that were Brad Crawford in the 33 and Aaron Mackle in the 36th. Biggest loser was Austin the Plane. He lost nine spots on the... Uh, standings there. Zachary Fitzwater actually also jumped up uh, eight spots, respectively, up to the 14th spot. And him on the pole, that's going to really help him out. Good timing. There's the command. So we're going to hit it on the nut angle over here. Five laps of action. Of course, on this track, the cautions will be off. So this is going to be one little fun, uh, I guess you could say, crap shooting away, but a fun crapshoot, I guess. If you've never seen this course before, you're going to be in one hell of a ride all together. And it should be very interesting all together. This track has left-hand turns, right-hand turns, aforementioned a lake, and of course, a lot of different elevation changes up and down and everywhere in between. About ready to see some awesome action that will take play here. Zachary Fitzwater, Seth Cole is going to lead the field down. It should be one hell of a ride. Cannot wait to see what's going to be in store. We've seen some crazy finishes within the last few years. Not just in this series, but even in the Intercell, Outback Xfinity, and Universal Orlando. Can we see a bump and run happen for the love of God? It happened... <laughs> In, in uh, the cup race of Season 9 for Intercell. Will it happen in Spectrum? We'll find out. Here we go. Five laps of action. Let the chaos and fun begin. Green flag. We're underway in the highway here in California for open roads. Good start by Zachary Fitzwater. However, South Cole, he got himself back on the throttle. Chris Dartson says not so fast. Three wide going for the lead. This is where they're going to be really spread out early on. But this is when they get to the uh, exit of the highway where they take the exit here. This is where all the all the fun little stuff starts to end. And this is where the chaos uh going to really go on by. All right, time to do your... Uh, Fun little thing. Wow, Dalton. There goes Tang into the wall. And are they seriously holding on? Minus a bump. Never mind. Andrew Davis, James Ellison, and oh boy. 
This is where you got to keep your foot on the throttle. And Winkle, he's going to go into the lake, goes to M. Goldsmith Dodge. Oh, Kyle Matthews about fell in there, same with Christian Vargas. And Winkle, the first to do so, now heading into the jump. Steph Cole got into it. Chris Dollarton really got into it. Here comes Fitzwater. Full out of steam. Oh, he got into Dollarton and he holds on, but Dollarton goes around. Well, I've never seen someone getting taken out like that. That's incredible. Other than that, these guys are not afraid to take the jump. Ellison and Matthews getting around right there and well, Ellison is just really having a crappy day there, I can tell. Now, Seth Cole's got that lead. Normally, the cars with the cleanest amount of uh, of uh, car that they have will normally have a better chance of going for the win there. So, Seth Cole, he really is uh, beating up that car early on. And this is where, normally if you're Seth, this is where you want to hold on so much. But this is only lap one, man. Obviously, there's still a little bit of track to go here. And Allison Rain already trying to take early advantage on Seth Cole there working on the inside line trying to get the pass and rain with no issue whatsoever in that Napa Auto Parts Chevrolet gonna get around Seth Cole now rain technically has won a, a very similar track like this called Thornton and has yet to win here now she won it when it was under the inner cell sanction never in the NSC Ray so regardless though Allison's still trying to get it done, though. Crown Jr. so far surviving up to P4. Steven Colon just got passed by Alexander Rowe in the 27. And now Lane Sanders, Jonathan Zorlin, your previous race winner, trying to hunt down the leader. Same with Oscar, a lot of right side damage at 0-2. Now Seth Cole just getting absolutely freight trained here by a bunch of these drivers right here. R.J. Bishop, Roberto Crown Jr. following in the mix. Now, Seth Cole, you can see his speed is definitely getting scrubbed off there with all that damage there. But I would not be surprised by Crown Jr. if he literally shoves that 24 car just to prove a point. Or not. But Rain continuing to take that lead there. And Bishop just got shoved by Crown Jr. Just said, get up there. Lane Sanders working on Alexander Rowe for position. I apologize for the frame rate being choppy a little bit right now. And as they come off these final few corners, there it is. That's only one lap of this track. Now they're going to do four more times. To complete the circuit. But this just shows you how long this track is. This is at least a little over 12 miles. That's how long it is just to get a lap in there. Lap one in the books there. Cody Smart in the rear of the field there. Cars just getting beat up left and right there. Kyle Matthews dead last. Now Seth Cole getting passed by. Both Stephen Cologne and Lane Sanders as Aaron Macklin got around him just earlier. Now Vince Freeze catching up to him there. Alexander Rowe must have got some damage on the right side of the car, and he does. He's losing a lot of speed. Laura Chung, Zach Flickinger, Austin the Plan, Jonathan Zerl, and all working their way to get around him. And now, battle for lead between Bishop and Rain, as well as Crown Jr. and Aaron Macklin now into the mix. This is a point in the race where you got to be very careful coming off this corner. And R.J. Bishop knows that's a turn of death right there. you got to take it easy off this corner. But see, you can tell he wanted to get around Rain quickly there. And oh, Macklin, get out of that spot. Oh, he could not hold on. Hey, he's going to go into the lake. Goes the M&M's Pontiac. And that'll be it for him. Whoa, Benji's going to also, oh my word, he hit the king, or not the king, that's a hard barrier there. 
And he goes in there. Oh my god, I've never seen that before. He's still driving the thing. The car's smoking, though, so he's done. And Fitzwater also involved. He's done. The pole sitter. Sheldon hit that wall there. Zorl and Laura Chung also has hit that wall. And Rain and Bishop both have hit the wall. Crown Jr. has not. Steven Cologne has not. Neither has Lane Sanders. Vince Freeze. I'll tell you that uh, Bishop and Rain now have to deal with Roberto Crown Jr. Here comes the eight. That's for second place right there. Crown working on his teammate. And going to easily get by the Napa Auto Parts Chevrolet there. And now his sights are set on RJ Bishop and that Sharpie Rubbermaid Ford. That's a tricky spot right there. As you can see, Bishop still got a bit of a run right there. Crown Jr. had to check up. And Cologne has joined the fray in the battle. Bishop better hang on to that lead for as long as he can there. As you can see, he's trying to lead that lap over Crown Jr. in the 8 car. As you can see, this is where Crown Jr. is going to get that momentum right there. He's going to have all that straightaway speed because he doesn't have any damage on that car. You can see that Budweiser Chevrolet already on the back bumper there. Vince Freeze already is catching up to Lane Sanders, and Seth Cole is trying to do whatever he can to keep pace, but he has just lost so much speed because of all that damage. Same can be said for Jonathan Zorland and Laura Chung. Alexander Rowe, Austin LaPlante, Zach Flickinger, James Qualls, and Eric Monaco also in the mix. Amanda Evans just a little bit behind as well. Dylan Thoreau, Dylan Young, Jessica Shelton. Also in the rear, Ace Wild, Levi McIntyre, Eric Burton also there. Not having a good day there with all that damage. And oh man, they're literally shoving each other out there. Oh my goodness, they're beating a big and hey, they put Flickinger about in the wall there. He is in the wall. And now he's broken free. They put the one in the guardrail. My goodness. Benjamin Miles on pit road is now. Bishop has lost the lead. A crown junior gave him the bump and run. Cologne has jumped to second. And Sanders has jumped to third. Crown junior is going to lead that lap right there. And now Stephen Cologne already in the back bumper of the Budweiser Chevrolet. It's freeze. He knows he's got to be really patient trying to get around these two right now. And he knows when it gets to that jump, that's where obviously the, the worries come because that's the part that really gets people. If it isn't the turn of death, it's always the jump that gets people. You have to know how to drive it correctly. If you mess up on it once, it's game over. You're doomed. See James Qualls, Eric Monaco, Austin Plant already getting around, Laura Chung and Jonathan Zorlin, as well as Alexander Rowe. And man, Cologne is all over the back bumper of that Budweiser Chevrolet. Crown Jr. better be careful there. This is definitely not a good time to pass. This is where you take your jump, get yourself back in line, and then you make your move for that position. Oh, wow, Crown Jr. got a little wiggly there coming off that corner, but hung on there. Yeah, these guys are going to make through the turn, no problem. I don't know what happened to Fitzwater. He must have went into that one little fence area there. And now here we go to the jump. This is where all the fun begins. Who's going to hit it from the lead pack here? Hello, got it. Sanders used the 31 as a barrier. Not a bad move by Sanders. He, he made Cologne really eat that guardrail there. And now Sanders is going to work on Allison Rain, who lost that second position earlier. But Crown Jr., also hit that guardrail. It's actually not a bad move by Sanders. You kind of use him as a pick. And now Sanders is going to get around. Vince Freeze. He got by with no issues. 
Niccolo got a lot of right side and left side damage. You can see this is where RJ Bishop is going to really, really get on that 31. Now, as long as he doesn't fall off the turn of death, he'll get a really good point stay, and he really needs it badly there. Find Andrew Davis in the 14 when we can, as Mitchell Collins has fallen to the turn of death. Davis right now, currently 20, well, 21st at the line, but I guarantee you with uh, Weapon of Mitchell Collins, maybe, he probably is now going to jump up to the top 20 thanks to Jackie Tang, who's got some rear end damage. I wonder who uh, hit him there. Actually, I think that may have been Collins or at least uh, Benjamin Miles, one of the two. But look at that, Andrew Davis, Quentin Moore working on Jackie Tang. They really need these point stays where, you know, you got to remember, they've been struggling so much there. As Lane Sanders is out in front, we're going to step inside and take a very, very quick commercial break. I do have to take this phone call, folks. Welcome back. You've not missed much of those. Lane Sanders is trying to hold on for the lead from Roberto Crown Jr. Uh, only one confirmed driver out of the race so far, and that is Zachary Fitzwater. Uh, probably later on, Zach Winkle will join him as two will Benjamin Miles and Aaron Macklin. Uh, Kyle Matthews and Cody Smart way off the pace. They are just basically sit ducks and hope that, uh, you know, more drivers retire out of the race just so they can get some respective positions there. And Sanders got bumped by Crown Jr. Trying to take the lead. Thanks to Vince Freeze in the 18 and Allison Rain. Oh, Rain got very squirrely. And Crown Jr. with all that damage. I'm surprised he's battling uh, Wayne Sanders and he got it. RJ Bishop also surprisingly wanting to battle up there. He's got a little bit of that damage too. Oh, Freeze about got that wall right there. And Crown Jr., he's going to really get some bonus points on that one there. He will lead a second lap in this race as we're at two laps to go. Cody Smart right now, 37. Kyle Matthews, 30. Oh, 37 now is 38th is Cody Smart. Oh, my God, that car is battered. Chris Dollarton is battered. Diego Yepes, man, what has happened? That 77 team, they have just fallen off a cliff. Literally, even though he's getting around Charles Sanford for position, still, you feel for him, though. Vargas, Ellison, Crawford, also with issues, Norman, Oskin, Sheldon kind of in the that little weird phase where she's kind of just there, but not really left side damage a little bit there. Eric Burton's also falling back quite a ways that Nation's Rent Ford. As they have been working on Jackie Tang, the 20, they have just been eating that car alive. Back up to the front we go. They've gotten around the turn. Heading it right now. Crown Jr. surprising. Like I said, with that left side damage. Literally leading this pack. If I were Freeze and Sanders, I'd be very careful coming off this corner. Just take it lightly coming in here. Let's see what happens with two laps to go going on this jump. That would be aggressive coming on that white flag lap, though. That's when all bets are off. Oh, and Sanders got to that wall. Bishop! And it's Freeze! Whoa! Oh, Crown Jr.'s getting a turn! Freeze got held up! Rain got involved! Oh, they're checking up! James Qualls got involved! The plan and Monaco are checking up! Qualls got involved! Oh, they're splitting them! My goodness! And that's going to end Crown Jr.'s chance at a win. James Qualls, who was looking really good. He got involved in Rain. What in the world is she doing? The track's down there there, Rain. What are you doing? I think she's uh, giving him the uh, the leisure way of taking that position and uh, will not want to be a nuisance, but... Sometimes you're going a little too far off the track. How about Davis, though? He's going to jump into the uh, top 15 because of that there. Meanwhile, Sanders has just been gone. Way ahead of Vince Freeze. Now, remember, he got involved a little bit with that front-end damage. And Bishop is still quite a ways back, too. But 
Austin LaPlante's got a very clean car, as too does Seth Cole and Eric Monaco. Zach Flickinger, as too with Jonathan Zorlin, also with a clean car. Man, Austin, can you see all that damage to that 31 car? Qualls got into him there, and I see Dylan Thoreau, Amanda Evans. All working on that 31. But it'll be white flag at the line for Lane Sanders in car 01. Could this be the day the 01 curse will end? RJ Bishop may be the best shot as to a Vince Freeze, but he lost second big time. Could LaPlante do anything about it? LaPlante has the cleanest car. I'm telling you, that 66 is on the charge, right? When they were at the line last time by, they were about five seconds back. Monaco now trying to pass Seth Cole. He knows if he wants a second win this year, he's going for it. He needs to get around him now, and that's what he's doing. Zach Flickinger going to try to do what he can to hunt, but I don't think Flickinger's going to have enough time. Lane Sanders now going into that corner. Wow, Freeze just said that in the corner. Holy cow. He's trying to see if he can get second off RJ Bishop. He is trying so hard, and he's actually going to try to make the move. Look at Freeze. I'll tell you, Sanders wanted to lead that lap last time by. He didn't get it. Crown Jr. took it from him. He says, all right, take it. Fine. Now he took the lead from him. And he is just enjoying Sunday Drive, but he better be careful. These guys are hunting him down. White flag, final lap for Lane Sanders in the 0-1. We've seen Cody Smart get a first career win. We've seen Laura Chung get a first career win. Lane Sanders got his first career win last season. Can he get a win this season? And Monaco has actually hunt down the plant. Oh, man, that Kodak Chevrolet is on the charge. Here comes Monaco for fourth. He says, man, forget the slow cars. This could be a battle here in case something happens to Lane Sanders as RJ Bishop and Vince Freeze are battling for that second position. That's at least five seconds. Six seconds for LaPlante to really hunt them down there, but, oh, man, they have to get going now. And they have to settle this out quick, too. As Monaco and the plan have caught Freeze and Bishop. Holy cow. Flickinger, Seth Cole, Dylan Thoreau, Jonathan Sorlin, Dylan Young in the mix. Where the hell did the 92 come from? That's up for 10th. Davis is up to 13th right now. Oh, and Monaco's going to go off. Eric Monaco. Oh, my word, in Monaco, his day is over. He got aggressive at the wrong time. Man, Davis may get a top 10. Sanders. Oh, he's going to hit the guardrail, however. Bishop. He did it, too. Vince Freeze, he got by it fine. Young got into the guardrail. Lane Sanders, oh yeah, he definitely banged up that car for sure. He should be okay, but LaPlante, who also got some damage there. I don't know, man. I feel like LaPlante may have the best car if it's not Lane Sanders. Zach Flickinger also got by it fine, but he has a lot of ground to make up. He was seven and a half seconds back, at least at the line. LaPlante already working on freeze. He knows. He's telling freeze, man. Just let me by. He has laved arm to Vince Freeze, or to uh, Austin Plant, rather. He's letting him by. He's letting Zach Flickinger by. Now, RJ Bishop, I'm not sure if it's going to work with him, but we're at least seeing it. But Sanders, he is trying to run away. He's got at least five seconds at the line. The plant already working on Bishop for second. Not the case. Oh, that's a turn. But that's always trouble there. And I think they're just way too far back. 
Flankinger with a big dive on Austin the Plant. And that's not going to work. That is literally helping Lane Sanders more and more. But this is where that straightaway speed is going to really come into the plant and Zach Flickinger. But, man, that is just way too far of a gap. Oh, my word. The plant and Flickinger trying to get around RJ Bishop and do it quickly. Here they both go. Thoreau now also working together. Yeah, I think they're just way too far back, man. Lane Sanders, he knows he wants this win bad. He wants to end the 0-1 curse. Coming off the final corners. No one in sight behind him. The plan is on the charge. But I think they're just going to be way too short. South Cole looking for third. LaPlante is actually gaining some ground, but just way too far back. Coming off the final corners. How about it, folks? The 0-1 curse is going to end today. Wade Sanders off the final corner. Career win number two for Spectrum Cup Series for Lane. Checker flag. The Alabama native is going to do it. He wins at open roads. LaPlante will get second place. Yeah, if one more lap came, the plant may have had a shot. Seth Cole, just short on third. He'll get fourth. Dylan Throw fifth. Vince Freeze will get sixth. Zach Flickinger, seventh. Jonathan Zorlin, eighth. Ninth, Laura Chung, complete the top ten. Quentin Moore. Andrew Davis came away 14th after all this. Wow, impressive. Laura Chung still got a top ten after all that. Quentin Moore, holy cow, got ten. Amazing. Eric Berg got 17th. Jackie Tang, 20th after that beat-up car. Lucky break for him. Sam and Oskin, 21st. Yep, as 27th. Alexander Rowe on pit road there. And they're waiting on Chris Dollarton, Kyle Matthews, Cody Smart, Roberto Crown Jr., Allison Rain to finish the race but basically they're gonna be finishing the way it is so we are just gonna do the good old-fashioned fast forward and have lane sanders celebrate the moment the zero one curse has officially ended and he is victorious here at open roads congratulations to lane sanders we mentioned your top 10 here's the rest of the field here as you can see we'll go through some of the wrecks in just a minute but the main four, James Qualls, also retired out of the race. And there you see it. So we're going to take a quick break. We're going to take a look at some of the wrecks. Well, they got by Jackie Tang smack in the wall right there. And Brad Crawford got into Sam and Oskin, Cody Smart, and Charles Sanford. All four of them. Man, they just took some smack to that guardrail there. Jonathan Zorlin, I think, also had hit it too. Yeah, he did. Jessica Shelton did get a piece of that wreck. That's how she was off the pace right there. Just that small little buckle. And Cody Smart, man, that car was just battered. Not, not really a whole lot you could do. Oh, that's where you got some of that damage there. Kyle Matthews, so. Davis was just getting bounced around. He still got a top 15 after all that. Give credit to that Kaseko Pontiac there. Now, we're going to mainly skip the ones that evolved the turn going into the lake. Just for obvious reasons, because we already saw it, but. Uh, I think we do have to check on Mitchell Collins and Alexander Rowe. Well, Fitzwire chose the wrong time to let others on by. And you can see he's going to that little grassy area here to where, you know, things were going south. And he took that jump, headed into the big right-hander here, and just couldn't turn that car. And this is what happens. Just go to that little grassy field, lose control of the car, and go go right into that fence right there. And that ultimately ends Fitzwater's day in the 29 car. I do want to point out Benjamin Miles. He actually has to be separate because, you know, I've been saying in the past, open roads, we're seeing like one-of-a-kind wrecks, and, well, we can add another one to the list. I've never seen someone hit the barrier here, and, yeah, Mitch Collins definitely took it wrong, and he pushed the 44 off the course a little bit. I'm amazed Collins didn't go with him, and 
I was just trying to save it. Looked like he was going to go down. He was on the brakes and he hit the hill and then just hit the wall enough. And look at the car propelling in the air. Oh my god. I have never seen that before. That is amazing. Back end gets absolutely bent. And that car is just basically toast. But never have seen that before. That is an absolute first here at Open Roads. But only this course, and especially on this channel, you can find wrecks like that to happen. My word. And we're going to look at the move of how Lane Sanders managed to win this event right here. And you can see just Crown Jr. He obviously led the field right here coming off to the cliff there, I guess you could say. But obviously this is very tricky. This is technically a double jump. Now you see Crown Jr. definitely took some air on this one. Sanders actually had more in that singular wireless dodge. And I mean both cars took a good look to that guardrail. Crown Jr. really took the worst end of it though as you can see. But you can see Bishop and Vince Freeze were coming in full steam. They did not miss the jump. However... See, Crown Jr. got bumped by Bishop in the corner, got airborne. Bishop caught air as well. Both were around. Lane Sanders barely got by that one. Freeze checked up. Allison Rain gets into the eight car. See, Freeze is just trying to go at that point. Go, go, go. Barely gets by that, but then gets bumped right there in Allison Rain, and that's what hurt the car. That's what ended Freeze's chance of going for the win. Cologne about got it by right here. And then Qualls just, no, oh, what are you doing? And it runs right into him. And that's what ends James Qualls' day. The plant barely gets by that one. Eric Monaco, the same thing for him. And same goes for Seth Cole. But that move right there helped Lane Sanders get the win. RJ Bishop made the big bonehead move. And we'll just take another look here. Let's go on the uh, the cockpit angle, because why not? This is uh, definitely something. We're just going to keep it at half speed. And we'll go to the part of the second jump here. See, he definitely went slow on purpose, so you can get all that momentum. See, he made contact with Sanders. Yeah, and then Crown just tried to block him the jumping. You don't do that. You definitely do not do that. That's like some X game stuff right there. Bishop and Crown go for a spin. Actually, I rock enough. Bishop actually managed to keep the car together until that bump happened and still kept the car straight. And then you see behind the 97 where Alice of Rain just unfortunately caused that issue right there. But wow. That's something right there. You don't really get to see a lot of there, but unfortunate happened there. Lane Sanders breaking the 0-1 curse. Let's take you back. All right, one last look at the results for those who didn't get to see. There it is, all in the glory that's out there. And in total, five cars technically retired out of the race. Collins and Rowe were on pit road at the time, as too was Monaco. So 34 cars finished the race. So not too shabby. If you like this, be sure to give it a like, comment, your thoughts, subscribe, part of the NSRA by hitting the subscribe button down below here on this channel. You've been watching production of the NSRA, offline racing at its best. What a crazy weekend we had. Congratulations to Lane Sanders on getting a big, big win. And now you can say, Lane, you have hope. Until then, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next race. Until then, goodbye, everybody, from Open Roads in California.